just about to take the funicular flame on to the top of Mount Flain, which is going to give me one of the best views of the city. I can't wait to the see the view. It's you can see the whole of Bergen and the ocean. You can see the fish market, the fjord, the mountains. This is great. Look at this. So let me show you some of the products that they have here. As you can see, they make sandwiches with salmon strips mm. on, uh, crabs, and also sure. here, very fresh fish. Oh, they're alive. The fish can't be fresher than this. Oh, look at this one. So we are in the middle of uh, the chaos city, as we uh, enjoy calling this area it on the hillside. Chaos. It is chaos, isn't it? Yes. Uh, small wooden houses, one next to the other, built very uh, close together with no and with, with no plan. That's important. It was before the city plan uh, that the houses here came. Uh, the oldest uh, ones are from uh, the 17th century most from the 18th and the 19th century. And then with small alleyways, uh, like these cobblestone alleyways, going in between uh, the houses. It's an area very typical for Bergen. Uh, popular place to live. Very much so. Uh, a lot of young families, often with children, are moving back to this area. And they buy up these old uh, houses and then fixing them and restoring them to their uh, glorious standard they used to have. Edward Grieg is Norway's most famous composer. I took the trip out here to Trollhagen, where he actually lived and worked. We all know about Grieg's talents as a, as a composer now, but can you say something about his, his personality? He was first of all a typical artist, uh, very restless. He was always longing to be somewhere else, and he, he was in need of total isolation when he, he should make music and a little bit disturbance and the day and maybe more days were destroyed. Uh, so it, he was not that easy to, to live with and uh, but he had a very nice and understanding wife and he had very good close friends so they supported him uh, even though he could be quite difficult. This is where he actually did his work? Yes, um, a few years after he had uh, built Trollhagen he decided to build this uh, little hut because uh, it was not quiet enough up in the house where too many women, as he said, and, and he needed total isolation. And all his music after Opus 54, you can say, is compo mostly composed here. In this. Come from this little hut. Yeah, beautiful place. Yeah. 